Hello and welcome to another episode. This one is about a comment I received on Sunday uh, the 7th of July in my latest video. It's a guy called John I think. Uh, basically he managed to lock himself in the car after draining his 12 volt battery and could not get out. He asked me if I'd heard of this before and I've seen one instance that in the last month, which was on Kier EV forums, which I'll put a link to. Now, this can only happen if the car is deadlocked, because normally if the 12 volt battery fails, you, you can just pull the driver's door handle and get out. So, all I can imagine is, he explained how he drained the 12 volt battery, basically been cleaning the car and left all the doors open for a few hours and then went back to it. And that's a well-known way of draining a 12-watt battery on an EV6. So he managed to get in by the key method and then found the auto-adjust seat didn't meet him like it normally would. So it sounds like the battery was on its way then. It's not clear whether he manually locked by the door controls or the car locked itself. But if the car was locked and deadlocked, that's the only possible way that I can see that he would be stuck in the car. But even then, there's a manual exit on the tailgate. Hello, let me interrupt this introduction to interrupt this introduction. You'll notice I've had my hair cut since I did the video the other day, and obviously it's a different day. I did release the video about being locked in the car this morning, but some people pointed out that I wasn't actually deadlocked in the car. Now the first case where I'm reaching in and pressing the button on the inside that counts because that's what would happen when you're driving the car and something like the ICCU failed and the 12 volt failed and that's what would happen in that situation. So to prove all this I'm going to open all my windows so I don't get locked in and see what happens when I disconnect the 12 volt battery in a couple of different instances and then I'm going to simulate being locked in the car and then exit by the tailgate with the, with the 12 volt battery off. So let's see how we get on. First things first, I'm gonna open all the windows. I'm gonna lock the car with the windows open and then I'm gonna pull the 12 volt battery to see if it lets you out. This is gonna hit a negative terminal. Now, from the inside, will it let me out? Yes, it will. Will the passenger door let me out? Yes, it will. Will the rear seat let me out? No, it won't. Oh, yes, it will. And now I'm going to go and exit through the boot, pretend the windows are locked, pretend the door, the car won't open. If you pull the handle twice, it seems to do it anyway. So the first time it didn't, the second time it did. So maybe that's what you need to do. You're going to have to flip this cupboard out so you can get in. And it might be a good idea to take this down out of the way. There is the manual release. You stick the manual key end in there. And you've got to slide it across. Right, you have to take the manual key out. Like that. And then... You've got to get the key in there and pull it that way. It's quite hard to do. There we go. And the manual release of the tailgate. And that's your emergency route out. You just have to push that up. But now I've got to test as well the case where you have a 12 volt failure and the car somehow becomes deadlocked. So 
um, the deadlock method actually sets the intrusion alarm. So I've got to disable that before I unplug the battery. So I'm going to drop all the windows again and do all my tests again. So if I can't get in the car, then I'm going to have to try and exit via the tailgate like I did the other day, just to prove that that still works. So we'll see how I get on. To disable the anti-theft alarm, uh, the easiest way is to do a voice search in the settings. So I'll we'll press the voice. Search settings, anti-theft. Loading the settings screen. And that's it off, but it always comes back on when the car switches back on. Um, locking with the key always sets it as well, I think. Uh, which is why my earlier test didn't set the alarm off, but it will this time, I'm pretty sure. To lock with the dead locking properly, you can either press the touchpad or use the key. So I use the touchpad. So in theory, yeah, that's dead locked. Right, the 12 volt is off. And I'm just going to try the deadlocks. Can't get out on this side. Can't get out on this side, no matter how many times I put the handle. Can't get out on this side. And I can't get out on this side. So you can get locked in the car this way. But will the tailgate work? Right, let's pretend I'm locked in with the windows shut and I'm going to work my way into the back. Oh. Oh. Pass yourself out. Best to get it out of the way. You can see where the metal uh, bar is there to pull across. You've got to get the key behind that and you might need two hands. Here goes. It does not seem to be able to be moved. go you can escape thank god for that it's difficult to use that though not easy well after doing the proper deadlock test i'm now having to revise my conclusion to the original video which probably 100 people saw before i took it down you can get locked in your car if the deadlocks are on um, in normal driving if the iccu fails normally you can get out the doors um, i've proved that um, with just the locking on the inside test but if the 12 volt fails and for some reason the car glitches and goes into deadlock mode, the only way out is via the boot. And that's not the easiest method to get out. Uh, there was a guy in the comments to the video I took down, um, who's local to me, who had a, an Alsatian in the back. And because the dog was in the way in a cage, you could not get to the flipping exit lock to get him out. So he has to charge the battery up and actually get the power back to the car to open the car. So that's one example when it's difficult if you've got a boot, boot full of stuff and it happens. But as to why the deadlocks are coming on, it's got to be deadlocks coming on in these two examples. It's a mystery. So uh, what else can you do? You can get those little lights with a built-in hammer and you can crack the windows, uh, break the windows, which you really don't want to do. But it's probably worth looking at one of those off Amazon or wherever. I'll put some links in the description. I, I've got one somewhere, but can I find it? No, I can't. One extra tip I do have, if you are trapped in your car somehow, I mean, I've shown that you won't be, and there is a way out, but if there's enough juice in the 12 volt battery, obviously to turn the car on takes more power than a remote climate command. 
So if you open your Kia Connect and start a remote climate command, if it succeeds, then the remote climate charges a 12 volt battery. And then if you give it a few minutes, you should be able to press unlock on the door handle or start the car. And again, that will, st that will start charging. So, so to start remote climate, press remote, scroll down to the climate settings. I've set it down to 17 Celsius and just press start. And you'll know the climate started because you'll hear it. There you go. And I'm going to stop climbing now. Anyway, I hope this is of use and I hope no one gets stuck in a car with what I've shown you. Thank you for watching.